All right, guys. So not only is GameStop blowing up right now, they're actually getting into the NFT game. Crazy, right? Well, come on in. Let's talk about it. What's up, everyone? This is The Real Mark Cruz, and I'm here to keep it real with you on the things that matter the most, like your money, your mind, and of course, your time. But before we get started, you know, I always have to say I am not a financial advisor, okay? I'm just some dude on the internet. Everything that you see here is for entertainment and educational purposes only. All right, so with that out of the way, um, as you guys, you know, of course, you know, because like, you're seeing this, so <laughs> anyone who's remotely uh, aware of what's going on with GameStop as a whole, um, today was an amazing day for GameStop, uh, for the stock itself, right? Um, let me actually pull that up so we can actually just get right into it, all right? So... Um, as you guys can see here, GameStop today alone, uh, during the regular market hours, it actually closed uh, up 15.82% on the day, which added about 33 bucks and 13 cents to its overall uh, share price. Um, in the after hours, as I'm recording this, you know, right now it's down almost 2%, but nothing too crazy, nothing to be too concerned about. But as you know, as AMC is, uh, as AMC is doing at the same time, uh, GameStop 2 is actually, you know, running. I think these two guys are ready to go. And like I said in the AMC video, uh, you know, prior, um, this is not the actual short squeeze, if you ask me. This is just the beginning. This is the pre-squeeze, right? Um, but yeah, anyhow, so the pricing is great. The pricing is way better than, you know, than we would have wanted, you know, for the time being, and it's looking great. But I actually wanted to point out a few things. Um, news actually broke, and let me pull this up here so you guys can see that. Uh, news actually broke that GameStop itself is actually launching an NFT. Um, what exactly that means right now, no one's 100% sure. Um, you know, no one knows if it's like a piece of art, which I'm pretty sure that's not just one thing. Um, no one really knows what they're doing, but this is the little site that they created for it. And uh, you can see the URL. It's nft.gamestop.com. Um, and when you scroll down, it has this cool little animation. It looks like a Game Boy in reverse. It says power to the players, power to the creators, power to the collectors. Okay, a little cryptic, and you spin it around, whatever. And you know, there's uh, there's this little blurb here that says, "We are building a team. We welcome exceptional engineers, designers, gamers, marketers, and community leaders." Right? If you want to join our team, send your profile or something you've built to NFT NFT team at GameStop.com. Right? So they're not very clear as to what this whole NFT thing is. Right? But I have some ideas, right? Um, if you ask me, there is a big, well, I don't know. I, I, I like wouldn't say big, but for me, the common sense idea is what if they used an NFT as a way for them to sell digital only games? Interesting, right? So I was thinking about that and I was like, you know, granted, they have their whole used game thing, which is huge for that, uh, for them in terms of how they make a lot of their money, right? But, um, They've never really had a solution for digital only games in terms of like, let's say uh, you brought one, right? You, you couldn't really trade it back in, you know, um, you know, at most, I assume you can get a refund. I don't know. I don't really do um, digital only games. I'm a physical collector. You could probably see behind me. I don't know. Yeah, probably can't. I got thousands of games behind me. This is my uh, game room man cave. This is where I film a lot of my stuff. Um, huge collector, by the way. Um, but I do a lot of the physical stuff, right? Um, but I think they're, you know, if you ask me, the common sense play here is that they're using this or it may be a way, because of course nobody knows, but it may be a way for them to sort of, you know, track or for them to sell digital only games. So think about it, right? Let's say they converted like a, a used game, a digital only game to an NFT, right? You brought it, you used it, you played it. You're like, all right, cool. I don't want this game. You know, I'm done with it or I don't like it, whatever. What if the idea is maybe you can trade it now? right? You can literally trade a thing because now it's a physical thing, right? Um, of course, this is going to be Ethereum based, which is great. But I think that's one huge play that they could do. Um, another idea that I think that could take place with this is what if they are using this as a way to make their own coins? You know, um, not specifically like, uh, you know, Doge or anything like that. But what if this is just the beginnings of that? You know, they want to probably dabble into the NFT uh, realm with, like I said, maybe their digital only games. But what if this eventually becomes a thing that turns into its own coin, like the game coin or the, you know, I don't know, the GME coin. <laughs> that would be cool. You know, maybe they're seeing what Doge is doing and maybe they're thinking like, you know what, maybe there might be a thing here, right? So I don't know if you guys saw this too, but if you click on this little dot in the corner, right? It's a little period, right? They have like a little secret runner game, right? 
Um, let me actually hit this button. Hold on. Space bar, right? So essentially, it's this thing. I don't know if it's a cat or a chicken. I can't even tell. The graphics are horrendous. But there's this little runner game that they uh, incorporated as a little Easter egg. And of course, I'm trying to record and play at the same time. And I completely suck. So yeah, don't mind the high score, you know. Um, but I thought that that was pretty neat, you know. I'm not sure what this means. I don't know if this is some kind of little like Easter egg or this is like a little... I don't know, like a little uh, hint as to what what's to come. No one really knows. But at the end of the day, um, I thought it was pretty neat that they did that. Um, let me stop that because then I'll just keep recording and playing. <laughs> so, um, you know, I definitely wanted to point that out so you guys could see that here. Um, another thing that I was thinking, of course, this is me just speculating because, you know, they really didn't give us a lot to work with. Um, another thing that I'm thinking is right now they also have um, they're dabbling into esports, right? As you guys can see here, right? I'm not sure why, but I was thinking about this, right? What if their NFTs were sort of like a thing that they're creating as like trophies uh, for any sports division or any sports team that they have or that they're going to create or something like that, right? So let's say you win this thing or you're playing, I don't know, Overwatch or you're playing, a, you know, Call of Duty or something like that, right? And let's say the prize for the tournament is an NFT. Like instead of having like an actual trophy, like a physical one, they say, hey, Here's an NFT of a trophy, you know, um, which in theory could, you know, the value would, one would think would get higher and higher over time, right? That's cool. That's a trophy that continues to earn you money after you won it. That's an idea, but no one really knows. Um, there's a lot that can go on here, right? And I think the fact that, you know, now that they have Ryan Cohen, you know, he's, ha you know, you know, I don't think he's actually been officially announced as a CEO yet, um, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I haven't actually looked at that recently, but um he's a young dude bringing a lot of young ideas to the company right this could be a huge play a huge play that can take gamestop from just being you know a brick and mortar store selling used games or whatever to something even more than that being a whole gaming and collector experience what if you know their nfts are just collectibles you know like they're gonna make you know one of a kind collect uh, you know collectible type things to sell um, you know, like an NFT of a Funko Pop or something like that. Who who knows? But the idea that they're dabbling into this space for me as a collector and as an investor, I am heavily, heavily intrigued in what they're doing here. Um, but, you know, as of right now, no one really knows. No one really knows specifically what they're doing. But I just wanted to put this out as speculation. You know, of course, um, I would be curious to hear what you guys think. Do you think it's going to be anything like I said, or do you guys have an idea of where this NFT play could go that I haven't even mentioned here? Please. <laughs> I'm curious. I really want to know. Okay. Well, with all that being said, that's all I have for you guys today. Okay. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, share this with someone who might benefit from this information. If you'd like to get in on the trading train, use my Weeble link in the description below to get two free stocks after you deposit your first hundred bucks. Now, with all that being said, guys, keep your heads bright, your wallets tight, and grab your dreams like it's your right. Peace.